All right, so this is my uh, Atar Pi, or Atar P. I don't know, it, it works better in writing. Um, so yeah, I've taken apart this uh, Miss Pac-Man plug and play console. I did a little Dremel work on the bottom. Still could be cleaned up a little bit, you know, maybe paint some places black, use glue instead of tape in certain places, but you know, I'm happy with how it, uh, how it turned out overall. I've got this USB port that I can plug in a uh, external controller if I wanted to play more advanced games, which I don't really care about, or if I wanted to plug in a second, second player controller. Uh, you get the gist. Um, so yeah, that's the controller. So as you see, uh, I added a couple buttons at the bottom. So this is a um, hotkey. So if I press like hotkey and start, it'll uh, close the, um, the ROM. That's how I can exit out. But I also have, so this is start and select which um, I found it I actually needed, although an Atari 2600 only has one button and a joystick, I uh, actually still needed those. So I added them and I realized, hey, I could also play Game Boy, uh, Game Boy Color, and NES games on the uh, system, but mainly I wanted to play Atari 2600 because that's, despite my age, my young age, that is actually what I grew up with. I'm just going to take this outside of the camera. Uh, well, I'll show you it working, actually. So, you know, you can press start and it opens up the menu, select opens up like the power menu, whatever. Um, you know, A is to select, B is to go back, you know. So basic, basic controls is what you would expect. Obviously the joystick moves around. Um, so let's just uh, get a game. I'm going to take this off so you can just see me playing the game. So like, uh, over here we have, uh, let's play Asteroids because that's an easy one to start up. So I'm using Recall Box OS, which is a lot like uh, the more familiar, or at least what I could tell was more familiar, was RetroPie. Uh, I actually like this a lot more. It's got like randomized startups and uh, built-in music to play and whatnot, which I thought was, you know, was was really fun. So um, can I get this in? I can't. Okay, I can't get it in in the shot too. <laughs> All right, so I press start and it starts the game. Um, you know, it's asteroids. Got to break up the rocks. You really shouldn't move, but I'm going to move around just to show that I can. And I died because of it. But I mean, <clears throat> so you know, I have a, I have quite a few Atari 2600 games loaded on this thing. I also have some NES games. Um, some Game Boy games, some Game Boy Advance games. Let's, uh, let's go check those out. Let's look at the NES games that I got. Uh, let's play a little bit of, uh, I don't know, how about some Mega Man? So oh, that's Mega Man. I meant Mega Man 2, but all right. And any second now, all right, let's start. Let's start with Guts Man. Actually, yeah, that'll do it. Oh, I haven't ever played Mega Man really, so uh, that was pretty bad. But you, you get the gist, so. Yeah, that's uh, not not the best joystick to do as what you would expect with uh, like I forget how much this was like fifteen bucks, like a fifteen dollar plug and play console. Not the best uh, controls, um, but it it works and I'm really happy with uh, with the results. So yeah, and just before I uh, turn this off, let me just put on a little Miss Pac Man, Atari Miss Pac Man because it's a Miss Pac-Man console, so I still kept the game on there. So, uh, go.
there you go. So yeah, there's the that's the console. So I hope you like my project. Took me a while, had some issues with my soldering iron not working and finding out I had to use a different operating system because the the uh, kernel was too new or too old or something like that and the driver wouldn't install and uh, but it's working now so yeah